It's a huge industry overseas and it's becoming the norm here, especially for this local Canterbury model. She signed a contract with a New York agency and says it'll be an experience of a lifetime. It's so exciting, yeah, I just feel yeah, so excited, I'm flattered and it's just an amazing opportunity. And it was an interesting start for Rose's modelling career, being spotted at a mall in Christchurch to join the runway team. I was shopping in Rickerton and Leith, my booker, just spotted me and yeah, asked me to come join. I came in and met everyone and then it just went from there. Rose says it's been an ambition to do this since she was young. I was a child, I always sort of dreamed of being a model and yeah, it was, I was so excited, it was a good feeling. <laughs> it's a big feat for Rose, where the spotlight will be on her in the US for a whole year. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, just a lot of you know, work and it's going to be tough, but it's going to be an amazing experience. Yeah. And one international talent scout says getting a contract like Rose's can be difficult. Typically our overseas contracts are for three month periods, they can last longer and they can be extended. So people do end up coming back and that's good. Um, you know, specifically here we've had the longest contract offered is about a year and that, you know, if the model does really well, she's probably going to want to stay, but she'll still be a model from our agency unless there's a contract that changes that. And she says it's a real privilege to have a New Zealand model appearing on the world stage. From my understanding here in New Zealand, it's not that common. Um, I am from the States, so in the States it can be more common, especially if you're going to New York and you're working out of New York or LA, one of the bigger fashion fashion industry hubs there, so it's actually really exciting that we've got some models that do have opportunities to go overseas, especially here from Canterbury and Christchurch in general. Anna grew up in Alaska, with her parents now living in the small <laughs> west coast town of Reefton. But she says modelling in New Zealand is on the up. I think that just pushing models out there and getting them recognized is what's really helping build the New Zealand fashion industry. You know, we've got lots of designers that have pushed their designs overseas and everything, and that's really good as far as economically, and it paints a good picture for New Zealand in the future. So how hard is it to walk the catwalk? I thought I'd give it a go, but first let's get spruced up. Oh, wow. The dressing room has a stash of designer clothes and some jackets on the rack for me to try on, but not quite my size. Let's just flag the jacket, we'll just go for it. <laughs> so, here we go. Well, nearly. So what am I actually doing? What's, uh, what, give, me some, um, give me some tips. Give me some tips of what I'm doing. So, walk down to the end of the runway yep. and just focus. You're looking straight. You're not like smiling and skipping around and all that great stuff. And although that describes me in a nutshell, it's game face time. <laughs> so the big question is, how did I do? Do you need any, any tips for me, Peter? What, what did I need? No, no I think I've got this. Yeah, I think you're straight in, into the industry. Straight into the industry. Straight into Just the like industry. industry. Sign me up. Are you? We can sign a contract <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, cool. And just like that, I'm a runway model. But all eyes will be on Rose when she heads for the airport runway in July and starts a new chapter in modelling. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.